I, I have that vibe. I, I'm one of the people who always winds up hearing everyone's deepest, darkest secrets and problems. People so I believe guess they so. can confide in you. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Why is that? Is that you do have a certain voice? Doesn't you have a voice, Ryan? Mm -hmm. Put the mic up, for God's sakes. <laughs> Because yes. then we can't hear your voice. Right. She has this soothing voice. Do you do a lot mm. of voiceover work? Interestingly, not as much as you would think. Really? Because it's very unique. I could see you playing even a teenager of like, mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. kind of like a Parker, what's the show? Not Parker Lewis, can't lose. Pinky Brewster? Punky Brewster? Punky Brewster. <laughs> you could, <laughs> you could yeah. do a Punky Brewster. Punky Brewster, Big Mouth, any of the fun stuff. Well, you did Incredibles too. I did. Well, how much so fun was that? Fun. The best. I mean, just the best. I also, and you, and you'll know the feeling. I, I was at a lunch with friends. You know, this was pre-pandemic when we still ate inside, and I was at a lunch with friends uh, in Venice. And my agent called and was like, "What is the matter with you? Why have you not responded to me today?" And I was like, I, "What are you talking about? First of all, I don't look at email. So, what do, do you, you need not? me to look at? No, I hate oh. it. I think email is." archaic and torturous. And I can't believe no one has developed a better user interface, but that's a separate conversation. <laughs> and so I, I open the email and there's a, it's just a PDF. Right. And so I open the PDF and it's a letter on Incredibles letterhead from Brad Bird asking me to play void. And I screamed at a pitch that I didn't know my voice could make. I thought I lost that at like eight, that level of high you just let it go. It just happened. And the whole restaurant turned and I just went, I'm so sorry. It's really good news. Did everybody laugh or they were just yeah. No, some people were laughing and like a couple of people when I left were like, what was, what happened? What's the news? <laughs> but that's exciting though. Incredibles too. You play yeah. void. Yeah. Like I've done a lot of voiceover work and did you find it nerve wracking? Were you acting with other actors? Were you shooting by yourself or mm. what would you do? How'd you do it? Um, I didn't find it nerve wracking. What I what was really interesting and how fun as an adult to be mm. really surprised, right? What was really interesting to me was figuring out how to create a sound to go along with something that doesn't exist. Oh yeah. Cause they hadn't showed you, did they show mm -hmm. you any examples or like little drawings? My animation wasn't done yet. I had drawings, but you know, I was in the booth with Brad, which is the most incredible thing. I was like, please do Edna. Okay, please do another voice. Okay, okay, okay. Do this one now. And he was like, we're here to record you, ma'am. Um, wow. But it was really fun to get to play with a writer director of that caliber and, and also to feel free enough in the room when he'd say, okay, you're going to jump, uh, you know, from the stoop to the sidewalk off of, let's say, six stairs. And you got to right. land. We need the sound of you landing. Okay, fine. Okay, but what happens when you jump off a hundred story building and land? I have no idea what that sounds like. Right. So we had to just come up with things and and it was fun in moments. What's the sound effect for jumping off the stoop? Just the small version. I mean, do you how would you land? I'm gonna ask uh, you. Yeah. Uh, uh, you know, a little uh, breath. Because uh, you get the wind slightly knocked out Ryan, of you. Try it. Uh, oh, you just cough. It sounded like a cough. <laughs> that didn't sound good. When was your last negative PCR? <laughs> 